Alberta Children's Hospital is believed to be the only pediatric centre in the world using a novel stem cell transplant procedure to cure children of sickle cell anemia. So sickle cell disease involves a mutation in the gene that makes hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is what fills up our red blood cells, makes our blood red and carries oxygen around. In sickle cell disease, these cells can turn into the shape of a sickle from where the name of the disease originates and they can block up blood vessels and essentially cause impaired blood flow or problems with blood flow to any organ. That can be the brain, cause a stroke, it can be the lungs and cause damage or death to lung tissue and then the heart strains to work against um, this increased uh, in pressure coming from the lungs. To date, seven girls and two boys with the genetic blood disorder have been cured through a process that first destroys the existing blood system, then grows a new system from the transplanted stem cells of a family member who is an immune match. Immunosuppressing drugs instead of chemotherapy are used in the lead up to the transplant, something that hasn't been done before in children. Bone marrow transplant offers the opportunity to cure them of this illness altogether by replacing their blood system with a healthy blood system so that they can not have these ongoing injuries to their organs. Cordelia Fox, now 19, was one of the first patients to undergo the stem cell transplant procedure at Alberta Children's Hospital. She was then 17. My doctor at the time was Dr. Steele. I asked him if there was even a cure for sickle cell. And he was just like, yeah, but you need like a sibling and stuff. And then I was just like, I have a sibling. And then he was just like, I'm like, yeah, I have an older sister. And then he's just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then so um, what the treatment was was doing a bone marrow transplant. Cardelia's older sister, Tamika, proved to be a full match and provided the stem cells for the transplant. The odds of a complete match being found within the family are only one in five. Without a family match, the transplant procedure is generally considered too risky to perform. You always want to do something for, like, your younger sibling and to be able to do this for you. Cordelia, it actually meant so much to me to be able to give you like help you have a new, a new life. life essentially yeah. is is probably the biggest moment in my life actually being able to help my sister on that level. <laughs> so we believe we're the only center in the world that's using this treatment in younger children and younger adolescents and so far we're seeing the same great results that they described in those medical papers with 100% uh, survival, we're seeing no evidence of graft rejection, so these patients are being cured of their sickle cell disease, they're not rejecting the blood cells from their sibling donors, as well as no graft versus host disease. Graft versus host disease can be a devastating complication, and so far, both in the American experience and adults and our experience in young people, we've seen no cases of this complication. I'm really lucky because not a lot of kids get this and not a lot of kids that are diagnosed with sickle cell have a sibling either to yeah. think about even getting cured. I literally live every day to the fullest because of it. Yeah. We are quite fortunate to have the support of our administration. Um, not all centers have the uh, administrative support to be resourced to provide this curative therapy. We actually believe that it's cost savings and we're going to be part of a research project to show in several countries with various healthcare models that it's actually not only beneficial to patients and families but cost effective to avoid a lifetime of sickle cell complications. The Children's Hospital became like my second home. My doctors, my nurses, they became my second family because they did everything to try and make me be like a normal girl. On my 19th birthday, I got set free written on my inner arm Outer. to kind of represent me closing a chapter, this chapter in my life and kind of starting a new one. Cause like my sister, she literally gave me a second chance at life and yeah. I am like internally grateful for you.